things that we've been learning in class is what to do with similar triangles. And today I'm gonna to give you a drawing, but a real world use of when you could use similar triangles to prove or calculate something. So if we look at this picture here, we have a person and we have a tree. What we're gonna use is we're gonna use the distance of the shadow to prove the height of the tree. So in the picture, we have the tree that casts a 20 foot shadow and we have a human that's six feet tall that casts a four foot shadow. We're gonna create a triangle from the top of the tree using this and then it's gonna come down to here. So we're gonna end up with this triangle, which is gonna have a certain angle. We're also gonna notice, given that it's coming from the same sun, that we're gonna have a triangle coming up through this person, coming to the end of that shadow, which is gonna have, again, the same degree from here to here. From there, what I want you to notice is that the shadow is four feet long, the shadow here is 20 feet long, and given that the person is standing up straight, this is a right angle, and the shadow of the tree with the tree is also at a right angle. And we have two congruent angles in both of the triangles, we can prove that the two shapes are similar. We can now create a proportion to show the height of this is corresponding to this. So six right here is the vertical line to this triangle, and X is what we're going to label the height of this tree. I'm gonna say that six and X are gonna be our numerators. I'm also gonna say that six is to four, the horizontal shadow length, as X is to 20. Now that we have a proportion and we have three terms, we can solve for the fourth. One thing we can notice is that there's a relationship between 4 and 20. 4 times what gives us 20? Well, 5. So I can do the same thing with the numerator. So 6 times 5 gives us x. 6 times 5 equals 30. Therefore, 30 is equal to x. So what we've just proven, value of this tree is going to be proportional to the value of this height, given that these angles are, the, are congruent, these angles are congruent, and the shadows are also proportionally long to the various heights. So that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. To my students that are learning this, I hope this was helpful. You can do this with any type of shadow problem. And you can also do it with, oftentimes you might see other kind of measurements that are trying to be made in the real world using similar triangles. And now this. This is my cat. My cat loves math. Stay educated, stay weird. Get it!